Breaking science report. Mount Etna erupts again, cracks widen as scientists watch the sea. The 28th of December, 2025, Sicily, Italy. Mount Etna, Europe's most active and closely watched volcano, has erupted once again today, unleashing glowing lava fountains, thick ash plumes, and a surge of seismic activity that has reignited a long-standing scientific debate. Could part of the volcano eventually collapse into the Mediterranean Sea? Throughout the day, residents across eastern Sicily reported tremors beneath their feet as Etna's summit craters roared back to life. Ash clouds rose several kilometers into the atmosphere, briefly disrupting air traffic and coating nearby towns in fine volcanic dust. Lava flows spilled into the Valle del Bove, a familiar path carved by centuries of eruptions. But this time, scientists say, the eruption is occurring alongside new and expanding fractures within the volcano's structure. This combination has raised fresh concerns among volcanologists. An eruption on a restless giant. According to Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, the eruption began with intense Strombolian explosions before escalating into sustained lava fountaining. Thermal satellite imagery shows unusually high heat output, suggesting a strong supply of magma rising rapidly from deep beneath the volcano. Etna is no stranger to eruptions. It has produced dozens of eruptive episodes in recent years alone. But what makes this eruption stand out is what is happening to the volcano's flanks, particularly the eastern and southeastern slopes that descend toward the Ionian Sea. Seismic stations have detected thousands of microearthquakes in just days, many aligned along known fault systems that trace ancient collapsed scars. GPS instruments reveal subtle but measurable ground movement, with sections of the volcano slowly stretching, cracking, and shifting outward. To scientists, this is not just an eruption. It is a structural response. Cracks that tell a deeper story. Long fractures, some extending tens of meters, have been documented along Etna's flanks. These cracks are not explosive vents, but silent indicators of stress. As magma forces its way upward, it pushes the volcano outward like a balloon being slowly overinflated. But pressure is only part of the story. Research over the past decade has shown that gravity itself is pulling Etna apart. The enormous mass of the volcano sits on unstable layers of sediment beneath Sicily allowing parts of the mountain to gradually slide seaward. Unlike sudden landslides, this movement is slow, measured in centimeters per year, but relentless. Scientists describe Etna as a volcano that is creeping, not collapsing. Yet every eruption adds weight, heat, and internal pressure, weakening the rock over time. This is one of the few volcanoes on Earth where we can directly observe a flank moving toward the sea, one volcanologist explained in earlier studies. The question is not whether it moves, but how it might fail in the distant future. Could Etna collapse into the sea? The idea of Mount Etna collapsing into the Mediterranean has circulated for years often amplified by social media and dramatic headlines. 
scientists are careful to clarify. There is no evidence of an imminent collapse. However, the concern is not imaginary. Geological records show that Etna has experienced massive flank failures in the past, some occurring tens of thousands of years ago. These ancient collapses reshaped the volcano and deposited enormous debris fields offshore, now mapped on the seafloor. A future collapse, if it were ever to occur, would likely happen in stages, not as a single catastrophic event. Still, in extreme scenarios, a large landslide entering the sea could generate tsunamis, affecting parts of the Mediterranean basin. This is why Etna is among the most heavily monitored volcanoes on Earth. A volcano under constant surveillance, SE. Etna is watched day and night by a network of tools. Seismometers tracking underground fractures. GPS stations measuring ground deformation. Gas sensors detecting changes in magma chemistry satellites scanning heat and surface movement, offshore instruments monitoring the submarine slope power. Together, these systems act as an early warning framework designed to detect changes long before disaster strikes. So far, scientists say, the data points to ongoing deformation, not failure. Yet each eruption adds new data, and this December 28 event is now being studied closely to understand whether magma pathways are shifting in ways that could accelerate flank instability. Why this eruption matters. Mount Etna rises above a region home to more than one million people. Its fertile slopes support agriculture, towns, highways, and critical infrastructure. Even modest eruptions can disrupt daily life, while larger events pose real risks from lava flows, ashfall, and earthquakes. Beyond Sicily, Etna serves as a natural laboratory for understanding how large volcanoes evolve and how they eventually fail. What scientists learn here could help assess risk at other volcanoes worldwide, from Hawaii to the Canary Islands. The bottom line, Mount Etna's eruption today is not a sign of immediate catastrophe, but it is a reminder that this volcano is alive 